I've had this problem. Big problem. I really, really needed a good real estate broker. And I kept searching and searching. Ah, there are so many choices. It's really hard to find one that has all the things on my list. But I finally did it. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. If you were looking for one as well, look no further. Here's a really good one. Just use mine. Use mine. I'm very satisfied. Definitely recommend. Problem gone. Thank you. Whereas the PRB Res uh, issued resolution number 2015-66 and 2016-02 respecting the admission to the BLERE or the Board Licensure Exam for Resident Brokers to the graduates of Bachelor of Science in Real Estate Service. So, as of 2016, bawal nang kumuha ng exams kapag hindi ka BSREM graduate. Whereas the foregoing restriction uh, and interpretation and application of the law resulted in the sudden downside, down, uh, downside in the number of takers in the examinations. Prior to 2016, the exam for brokers the average 15,000, 12,000, 20,000. Yun ang average. Pagdating ng BSREM, ang kumuha, 31. So, isipin mo sa dating libo-libo, naging 31 na lang. Yung 31 na yun is the entire Philippines. Buong Pilipinas na yun na nag-graduate ng BSREM, ang kumuha ng exam. 31. From previous years, 12,000, 15,000. Yun. For Metro Manila, ang nag-o-offer si Trinity, si uh, STI, si ang tawag doon, um, letter G rin siya eh. Oo. Gardner, Gardner College. Sa so may SM Lord Edsa, nag-o-offer sila. Yeah. In fact, yung Blerea na, ano, na recently noong September, Pumuha was 15,000 appraisers yun. Ang pumasa, 5,000 something. So, one third. So, dito sa board exam ng brokers at 2017, we're expecting nasa mga 20,000 ang pupuha nito. Ano nangyari sa appraisers? Uh, yung exam was held in uh, 7 or 8 testing areas. So, Isip namin sa uh, brokers, baka ganun din. Seven or eight testing areas for the entire Philippines. Whereas the commission, having been, uh, having received uh, numerous appeals from uh, and recommendations uh, to allow non-holders of BSRM to take the rise into exam for one more time, yan, Marami nag-request na, Sir, payagan nyo na kami. Sige na, last na. Last na, last na to. Parang one, one time, big time na lahat. So sabi, whereas, yeah, whereas the major real estate industry leaders and players have called the attention of the board and the commission on the potential adverse impact on the sudden downside of the number of takers. Yeah. Whereas subsequent consultations with stakeholders with the board yielded strong support for the proposal to allow non-BSREM graduates who have been previously admitted in the Blerea and Blere to retake said examination in the stages thereof, whereas the alternative curriculum being proposed by CHED and referred to by the Department of Justice Opinion No. 5 of 2017, which will collect some related subjects taken in the first degree and will also consider relevant training, work experience is not yet in place. Ang uh, mangyayari kasi later on, uh, kung sakaling hindi napapayagan, if you're already a graduate of any four-year course, pwede kang kumuha ng BSREM and then i-check ng institution, baka pwedeng makredit yung dati mong pinag-aralan. Ano-ano yung mga subjects na yun? Kasi take out, yung BSREM is a four-year course pa rin yun. So parang back to zero ka nun. Kaya lang, ulitin pa naman yung PE. Yung English 1, Math 1, Diba? Napasa mo na yun eh. Dapat credited pa rin. So, yun ang pinag-aaralan ngayon ng DOJ at saka CHED. Na, sige, payagan na natin. Pero baka pwedeng major subjects na lang. 
Eh kasi lahat ito mga practicing na naman to. Diba? Hindi ka lang alam magmamatwan, magmamatwan ka pa bolit. Hindi eh. Na-credit na sa'yo yun eh. So yun ang sinasabi nila dito. Whereas the board deems it proper to reconsider and allow those who have been pre-qualified for admission. So ito yung mga kumuha na exams under the PRC from 2011 until 2016 for another chance to take the exams. So ito na yung chance na yun. Uh, wherefore, premise is considered the board as it so, as it so resolves, to allow non-BSR and graduates who have been previously admitted to the exam to apply for the September 15 Blarea and December 26, 2017, resolve further that the deadline for the final complications uh, for the September uh, is uh, uh, for the September Blarea shall be August 15. And for the December group exam, will be on November 16. November 16 and deadline. So make sure na ipasa nyo yung documents ninyo on or before November 16. So two weeks from now, ang suggestion ko is as early as now, pumunta na kayo sa PRC, i-check nyo yung final requirements, kung ano yung kailangan. Kasi doon sa appraisers, retakers exam, ang hinihila sa kanila is yung NOA, copy ng NOA, at saka yung NBI uh, clearance uh, na nakalagay na for PRC requirement. Yun lang hindi sa kanila. So if you still have yung NOA, at saka meron ka nung NBI, take note yung NBI, uh, no more than 6 months. So most likely, kailangan mo tumuha all the time. So kung palagi ka may hit, I would suggest ngayon pala i-apply mo na. Kasi pag na-hit ka, two weeks yun. Yeah. Done this 27th day of July 2017. So PRB Rest Resolution Number 171, Sign 07-2717. Kailangan ba natin i-memorize uh, Kailangan eh. Minsan baka ilalabas sa exam yan eh. So, resolution number 171, 07, 27, 2017. Kumbaga, yan yung parang sabi na, oh, bonus na yan. Para baka one point ka na sigurado. Siguro naman, matatandaan mo yan. Parang 777. Yan. So, ito yung uh, official uh, announcement sa website ng PRC. So, ulitin lang natin, deadline of filing of applications for brokers. November 16, 2017 Venues Sigurado, Manila, nandiyan na Yung other venues to be determined by the board before the exams So depende kung gaano kadami ang mag apply sa November 16 Tapos malalaman nila kung magbalagi ba tayo ng venue sa Baguio sa Buanga Tumigaraw, Davao Yan. Kasi kung mga dalawa lang kukuha sa exam doon yung alanganin, sayang sa pangod. Usually from experience, mga at least isandaan, safe na yun. Kunwari isandaan kayo nag-apply. Meron ba exam dito sa ibataan? Dito? Meron nag-exam ba dito? Wala, di ba? Ano yung pinakamalapit? Pampanga. Wala pa. No? So, double check lang kung ano. So, check nila kung ano yung mas marami. At least mga 100, pwede nyo. Exam date? December 16, 2017. So, medyo matagal-tagal pa. October pa lang ngayon. November, December. O, two months pa. Yan. Ito, hindi natin alam ito. Steps in filing. Pagdato. Just in case, magdala ka na rin ng sedula. Baka sakaling hindi nyo sedula. Tapos, uh, passport size color pink. Baka sakaling hindi nyo sedula. Tapos, passport size color pictures. White background with name tag. Para just in case lang. Otherwise, pag sa PRC ka, alam mo naman doon, mahal, di ba? Yung four pictures, parang 120 yun. Kamatang pag sa may SM ka lang, o sa mga mall, eh, 60 pesos lang. Cedula, ayan, dito dito, cedula. Meron mga small items like yung uh, self-addressed stamp envelope, documentary stamps, 
yan, baka kailanganin pa lang din yun. Pero ang sinabi nga sa appraisers na retakers, dinala lang nila yung notice of admission at saka yung NDI. The rest, nakakuha na sila na requirement sa PRC. Yung mga doc stamps, application form. Yan, notice of admission. Yan, ito, scope of examinations, section 13. So, section 13, scope of examinations, section 14, qualifications, section 15, ratings, section 16, release of results. So, an examination shall be given to the licensure applicants for real estate brokers, appraisers, consultants, which shall include but not limited to the following subjects. Yan, consultants, yan kailangan, appraisers, yan kailangan malaman, brokers, yan, fundamentals of property ownership, code of ethics and responsibilities, legal requirements for real estate service practice, real estate brokerage practice, subdivision development, condominium concept, real estate finance and economics, basic principles of ecology, urban and rural land use, planning and development and zoning, legal aspect of sale, mortgage and lease, documentation and registration, real property laws and any other related subjects as may be determined by the board. So, yan ang ano yan. Uh, to conform with technological and modern developments, the board may recluster, rearrange, modify, add to, or exclude any of the foregoing subjects as may be necessary. So it means that depending sa board, pwede na lang magdagdag, pwede magbawas, pwede, kaya misa yung mga exams, yung mga iba sinasabi, kasama ba talaga yun? Wala naman sa pinag-aralan natin yan eh. Diba? So don't limit yourself do sa materials. Try to also read newspapers, yung mga effects sa Marawi, baka sakali. Diba? But importante yung, for example, sa Marawi, uh, lake Lanao, na katabi ng Marawi, is the largest lake in that area. And la largest lake kasi talaga is uh, Laguna de Bay. Second largest, Lanao Lake. So, but importante yung Lanao Lake kasi nga, nung sa Marawi, yung military personnel had to guard yung Lanao Lake kasi yun yung second largest lake in the country. So, ganong kalaki yun. So, pwede yung mga kalaban, medyo nagsiswimming doon, nagbabangka doon, nag underwater doon, na pwede hindi makita. Ganong kalaki yun. Kaya dapat bantayan. At the same time, lumabas yun noong 2014 or 2015 examination. Ang nakalagay doon, what is the second largest lake in the country? I've had this problem. Big problem. I really, really needed a good real estate broker. And I kept searching and searching. Ah, there are so many choices. It's really hard to find one that has all the things on my list. But I finally did it. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. If you were looking for one as well, look no further. Here's a really good one. Just use mine. Use mine. I'm very satisfied. Definitely recommend. Problem gone. Thank you.